What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today is Thursday, so it means we are getting a new event. This one is called Into the Arena, and it's gonna be like the previous dungeon version. It's a small event with a few challenges, but they are using the challenges or the event to introduce two new legendaries into the game. If you guys remember about two weeks ago, just before the Captain Blue Balls event, we had a dungeon event and it was very straightforward it says do one voltaic fist do one hive mind and it was missions from slade and when you were done you would get a small reward like fame or something and then you would get another mission said uh do one fast voltaic fist like under 10 minutes or under 15 minutes and then it was gonna say uh do hive mind fast that was pretty much it there was i think four or five missions so we don't have more details about the arena event, but we have the legendary reveal today. So next event, I'm expecting pretty much the same. Do one arena, uh, could be bronze or silver, then do it fast, like under 15 minutes, I guess, or 20 minutes maybe. But the legendary drops are not tied to the challenges or the mission. It's just a small event to give you more fame but the legendaries are in the loot table. It means you can drop other legendaries, you can drop them fast, you can drop them slow. Remember Low Wolf took 81 Voltaic Fist runs before he got the Castray Pistol. So it's totally random. You can get lucky and get it on your first try, but you can play all week or two weeks and still not find what you're looking for. Now let's go with the legendary reveal. Now it's pretty obvious that the one on the right is a, a sniper rifle, I guess. It's pretty long, right? The one on top or on the left, it could be a SMG at first glance, but some guys said probably maybe um, first AR with a front-loading mag. Well, we got all the details. Well, pretty much all the details right now. Let's look at the first one. So the first legendary is a legendary sniper rifle called the Turbo Gauss Rifle or Turbo Gauss Rifle. And it says fight for yours in Silver Arena. And uh, the event is about to launch in about an hour or two at the release of this video. So it's not a secret, the legendary locations. When the event starts, it's in the description of the event and it's in the missions. They will say, do Silver Arena, get some fame. But if you do a lot of Silver Arenas, you could find the Turbo Gauss Rifle. Now you see the design is a little bit different from what we had previously as legendary snipers there are like two rails so rail rail guns or rail rifles or electromagnetic rifles you can google it google gauss rifle it will use magnetic energy to shoot projectiles okay so i don't know but they said the designers of the game are trying something different this time with the new weapon so we could have different maybe different game mechanics or maybe different animations it could be something that you charge before you shoot. It could have different sounds maybe to tell you when it's ready to shoot. Uh, some guys on Discord speculating maybe it would be our first weapon that could pierce through enemies. If you have two or three enemies, one behind uh, each other, maybe the projectile could go and, sh and shoot through the enemies. You can get three or two kills with one bullet. Because we don't have that right now. If you shoot one bullet, it's one kill. And the enemies behind they don't take damage the only splash damage we have is rocket launchers and grenades and stuff like that so it would be interesting i cannot wait to see what the different stuff we're gonna see this time but definitely it's gonna be a surprise they did not reveal anything yet the name turbo gauss rifle has turbo in it so people have been asking for maybe fast firing or auto sniper rifle so it could also be something automatic or something fast firing because we have some fast snipers already like uh, the og moneymaker but yeah we'll have to wait a couple hours i'm going straight for that one on the start of the event for sure silver arena i love playing silver arena it's pretty quick make sure you watch my arena guide below guys i have all the tips you need uh, to help you succeed and complete it fast now let's go for the second one the second legendary weapon is a legendary smg so no more speculations not an ar it is the Insurgent Legendary SMG. And good news, bad news, get it in Gold Arena. Ouch, that's going to hurt a lot of people. Gold Arena is freaking hard. It is not that much fun for some players. 
including myself. One of the reason I don't play much Gold Arena is the rewards are not so much worth the effort or the time because I have everything. The only thing I can improve is my legendary body armor, but I don't want to farm Gold Arena because the chances to get one are pretty small. And even if I get one, the chances to have triple HP are very, very slim. So we kind of ignore Gold Arena now since we all have the Revenant. That's pretty much the best reward. Some guys still farm Gold Arena for the Meltdown Sniper. But now we have a new reason to go back and start farming Gold Arena again. Because you look for the new Insurgent SMG and you have a chance for a better Meltdown or a chance for a better Body Armor. And I know some of you guys still don't have the Revenant yet. So it's another reason to go back farming gold arena. Now I don't know about that one, no idea what's gonna be different or surprising. It looks like another SMG, I mean maybe you guys can type below, uh, maybe it's gonna have a better range, uh, looks like the, the front part is pretty big, uh, maybe some guys say maybe a red dot sight or laser sight would be nice where you see your laser and when it's gonna shoot but I don't think it's gonna be a red dot or laser sight, looks pretty standard. So I'm expecting a surprise, cannot wait to see these new legendaries in action. I will have some gameplay later for you guys when I actually find them myself. But definitely later after the match stream today, we will be farming arenas uh, on my stream, trying to get the new legendaries. So you guys tune in and then leave a comment below. What do you think? You can start speculating. What are you guys expecting from these new weapons? And are you hyped or not? Are you disappointed that you still have to go back to Gold Arena again? But I mean, I'm up to the challenge or I'm up for the challenge. I don't know how you say that. Uh, I'm excited for new weapons always. So cannot wait to start farming and get these. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Like probably they try to optimize stuff and they want to test it so they ask people to play on it so you basically you're just playing a different version of this a different build of the same version so you don't have different stuff it's the same game but it's made different that's what i understand Man, uh, it's pretty hard, dude. Bro, man, very hard. Very purple, pro. No, it doesn't look different. It's not gonna look different. It's the same version. It's just they testing stuff. It's probably just in the coding or something. Probably it's gonna be in the long run. Maybe it's it's a uh, lighter or something. You know, they always try to improve. So it does, if it doesn't feel different and it doesn't look different, it's probably because it's working. Call of Duty stream? I did stream Call of Duty yesterday, Kamzi. Where were you? Oh, what a waste. Two games in a row, I completely wasted my supercharge. Almost there, yes. Do another one. <laughs> 